Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is how to create Ragdoll. So I'm just going to get right into it. What we want to do first is we want to find this character which we want to have this Ragdoll be on. So for me that is going to be characters, mannequins, meshes and I want SKM Quinn here. And what we want to have is we want to make sure we also have a physics asset with this character. So you can see this character currently doesn't have one. So what I'm going to do is right click on it, go to create, physics asset, then create and assign. And then you can modify these if you want, but the default values are typically always fine. So I'm going to create asset like so, and we can open it up straight away here and see this is the physics asset we have. And if we press simulate, you can see straight away what this is going to do. It just simulates physics, and then we have this simple ragdoll here. And we can do this as many times as we want, and again it's going to go a different place every time. Because it's just Ragdoll, it will be completely random. So we'll save, and we'll close this, and we're going to open up our character blueprint. So I'm going to go to Content Draw, Content, Third Person, Blueprints, BP, Third Person Character. In here, what we want to do is just get the event where we want to trigger our Ragdoll. Now for me, I'm going to be doing this when I press the one keyboard event, just for the purpose of the tutorial and testing. However, for you, this could be when you walk into something, when you die, whatever it is, go to where you want it to be triggered. So I'm going to get my event, which again for me is just a simple one keyboard event. Then we're going to drag in a reference to our mesh here, and we're going to drag out of it, and we're going to set simulate physics. So as we just did in the physics asset, we simulated it, that's what we're doing here. So we're simulating the physics of the mesh, so we want to make sure we tick simulate in there like so. And what we also want to do is select the mesh in the components list in the top left, scroll down to the collision presets, and we're going to simply just change it to be Ragdoll. Now if we compile, save and hit play on this, what we can see is if I were to press 1, we're just going to simply enable Ragdoll like so. You saw the character just fell over, it enabled Ragdoll perfectly as you can see there. And this also carries your momentum as well, so if I were to move and press 1, we're going to trigger the Ragdoll like so. Now obviously you see the player is moving away from the camera, so what you can do is drag the camera boom onto the mesh and then now when we simulate physics and we enable our rectal, the camera is going to follow along with the player as well, as you can see there, like so. So I think that'll be it for this video, so we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've set up a ragdoll system in which we can just enable ragdoll on our player in any way which we like and we see fit. And again, this is very easy to customize to do it whenever you want, for example, when you die. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.